What's going on, everybody? So, yes, a couple more NBA Lakers mock drafts. I just decided to do this because there was so much more intrigue and almost getting the fact that Kyrie was coming to the Lakers, but, you know, hearing that they need to offer two first-round picks and all this stuff. I do have a blockbuster trade idea in here that could help out multiple teams, but I remember they did say if they weren't able to get Kyrie, the Lakers could be focused on two shooters and both Eric Gordon of the Rockets and Buddy Heald of the Indiana Pacers. But overall, I try to make this deal for those guys somewhat a bit easier to get and make it fair for everybody. Obviously, it depends where Russell Westbrook ends up going because he could go to the Brooklyn Nets, he could go to Indiana Pacers, but for this scenario, you'll see where he lands. So with the Lakers, I have them getting Eric Gordon, the Rockets, I have them also getting Buddy Heald or the Indiana Pacers, I have them getting Seth Curry from the Brooklyn Nets, and then also Miles Turner of the Indiana Pacers recently said he would not mind getting traded to the Lakers. So that's a pretty nice get overall for those four players to the Lakers. And then the Nets in this scenario, I have them getting Kendrick Nunn and a first round pick to be able to sweeten this deal. If you are gonna end up setting two first round picks, which I have in both of these mocks, I think these are good overall trades for the type of players you're getting to kind of ease in ease in and sweeten the deal so to get this shizzle going but yeah Kendrick Nunn in the first to the Nets or he could be that to the Pacers don't matter but also the Pacers could get Russell Westbrook in a first or Brooklyn could get Westbrook in the first depending what they do with Kevin Durant and Kyrie or not so overall I think it could still work out then the Rockets will end up getting Taylor Horton Tucker just to be able to sweeten this deal so that the Lakers can't have enough cap space to be able to bring in those type of four contracts yes a couple of those are lasting more than one season but if it doesn't work out this year you could always end up trading them with one more year left on their deal as well so overall that's a pretty pretty honest and good trade to be able to get four solid contributing players all shooters even turner as a center and the seven footer he could be a three-point spacer as well but you kind of have them for your defense to help out Anthony Davis. But time for the blockbuster trade here. So obviously this is going to include Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, both leaving the Brooklyn Nets. So in this scenario, I have the Lakers getting Kyrie Irving from the Nets. Also from Toronto, I have them getting Gary Trent Jr., who they've been trying to get the past couple of seasons. And also Cameron Birch, who's like a 6'9", power forward. He could play center for you as well. But not a nice little one-year deal that they have. And the Raptors, I have them going with Kevin Durant. So they make the big trade for him. So obviously in this scenario, we have to send some more out. I have the Lakers also sending Taylor and Horton Tucker to the Raptors, which could entice them just because they've been trying to get him in the past couple seasons as well around the NBA trade day line. So <clears throat> it could work out and also sending one of those Lakers first to them as well. So overall, it could help them out because they are going to be sending a lot away to Brooklyn in order to get Kevin Durant in this scenario. But the Nets will get Russell Westbrook from the Lakers. OG Anunobi is a pretty good player for the Toronto Raptors and I know they don't want to give up Scotty Barnes or certain other players but in this scenario I have him because of a certain amount of money he's making going in to the Brooklyn Nets and also I, I included Lucas Noguari Noguera I and I forget if his contract is fully I don't know if they put a qualifying offer or something if they had made a deal with him but he was available for a trade on there I think he's still on the roster but they could probably just sign him real quick anything or if not him maybe just around an eight million dollar contract to make this official i believe was what the fans both told me so overall it could be any of those guys and also sending a lakers first round pick to the nets because you are getting kyrie irving and even though no other team really wants kyrie you could still sweeten this deal like i said both of these scenarios you had to include the two for future first round picks but the with the type of players you're getting it's definitely worth it in my opinion so Overall, yes, pretty big blockbuster trade 
for pretty much the Brooklyn Nets more, but the Lakers benefited from that as well, getting their guy. And then also, if they don't end up getting Kyrie, they have a nice, you know, secondary package they could go to in this scenario where it could work out. And as far as the money wise, it supposedly worked out online, but in real life, I don't know if it would or not. But yes, either way, the Lakers lose two future first round picks, but they become a better team and a championship level team, in my opinion. So that I think I'm continuing this video. This is like the second part of this video. Just cause after I made the first one, all of a sudden the news came out that the Jazz were looking to maybe trade Donovan Mitchell. Obviously it'd be a target that the Lakers most likely will not get cause they're asking for like so many first round picks and the Lakers technically don't have them. They do, but they just can't trade them away cause they already traded away a lot of picks and you can't trade away consecutive picks I mean they could probably work out something but I doubt it would ever work but obviously I want to get my hat in the ring to see what would what could work on fanspo.com to see if the trades would be successful and of course they were but these are so unrealistic that yeah especially with the last one it benefits Lakers so much but let's get into it because I just thought they were too funny and unrealistic but Maybe the one that's a little bit more closer to reality that could maybe work and it just ends up being the Lakers giving up future first round picks, only those two, might be where the Lakers get Donovan Mitchell from the Utah Jazz. They also get Nikhil Alexander Walker from the Utah Jazz. And then they end up getting Maurice Harkless from I believe Atlanta it was. So a guy that they kind of had their eye on for a bit, but never really were able to get him in a sign or a trade or anything like that. Then the Utah Jazz get Russell Westbrook. So you're obviously going to send a couple first round picks, maybe just one. Uh, I think you'd send both of the first round picks to them. Then the, the Utah Jazz also get John Collins from Atlanta, who I know they've been trying to maybe trade before. Everybody thought he was going to go to San Antonio, but it didn't end up being that way, which is interesting. And then Taylor Horton Tucker as well, another younger guy, so they can put on their roster because the Jazz will be rebuilding in the near future. And then Atlanta in this scenario will get Boyan Bogdanovich, who's a really good small forward slash power forward, a good three point shooter, be able to space the floor out there for Dejounte Murray and Trey Young. So he's a good pickup there, and they can go smaller. And also coming off the bench for them. The reigning two-time sixth man of the year ex-Laker as well, Jordan Clarkson from the Utah Jazz going to Atlanta. So money-wise, this all worked out. I think, yeah, you have to give up the first round picks to um, Utah, but I, I just don't think they would just do it for two picks unless he literally just said, I'm going, I want to go to the Lakers, that's it. If not, don't trade me and I'm not gonna play for you and then you might as well get something in return. Get an expiring deal in Westbrook. Get maybe a John Collins in there if Atlanta is willing to do it. And you get a couple of future first round picks to help you out while you're still rebuilding around that time most likely. But overall, I don't know, it kind of seems like he might be going to up to New York just cause he's been wearing a lot of New York stuff. I think he was working out with LeBron in New York as well. So yeah, everybody thought, oh, he could come to the Lakers because he's working out with LeBron, but it was still up in New York where I think, I believe he's from as well. So it could be a good homecoming for him if he does end up going up there. It just depends what they end up giving up. Because I know, I think, yeah, they don't want to give up R.J. Barrett, the Knicks, the ex Duke player. But if you're going to get a guy like Donovan Mitchell, a superstar like that, or a guy who could be a superstar, especially for the New York Knicks, you kind of just have to throw them in there and plus you probably won't have to give up as many first round picks but now to get on to this <laughs> truly unrealistic I don't know how this worked out money wise but did end up having to give up a couple of big players from the Lakers to get these big players we got back but yes this is the more truly unrealistic NBA 2k video game type of trade but it somehow went through so the Lakers end up getting Kevin Durant from the Brooklyn Nets. I know everybody's been saying Kyrie, but they get Kevin Durant. They also get Donovan Mitchell from the Utah Jazz. So they get two guys who are superstar, almost star, superstardom level. So you guys get 
those big guys and they also get a smaller contract and Dayron Sharp from the Brooklyn Nets guy who could be just a bench player to help you out your power forward slash center position then the Nets get Anthony Davis so yes you're trading away your second best player on the Lakers Anthony Davis to the Nets but maybe that could help you out not having to give up as many first round picks as the Nets are asking for Kevin Durant but you never know and then the Nets also get Boyang Bogdanovich, who is from Utah, who's a really good player, so has a couple years left on that deal, but it's still a guy who can help you contend right away. And that could not be a bad one two matchup, especially if Kyrie is still stuck there. It could be a good trio that they have. And then the Utah Jazz also take Russell Westbrook's contract from the Lakers and get Taylor Horton Tucker as well to add a little bit more youth to them. And I think. You can maybe get away with sending a first round pick to one of those two one of those two future first round picks to either team and then maybe it could somehow work and then you know down the road you could have like minimal trades that end up sending first round picks or something like that i don't when it comes to pick swapping too i don't know how that works because maybe you could add those parameters in because if say the nets or say the Lakers one year are worse than the Nets in the future, then the Nets could swap to get a better pick to get a better player in the NBA draft. So I wonder if that counts as much as trading away your first round pick officially, which you're kind of not, you're just trading away your position. So overall it could be interesting to see what happens. Yes, these are very unrealistic. I do not expect Donovan Mitchell or Kevin Durant to be on the Lakers, but it was a good exercise to see what could happen uh, money-wise. But most likely the website I use doesn't calculate the cap room and it kind of does but I think it's pretty lenient on the type of stuff you can do but to get rid of two 40 plus contracts and AD and Westbrook yeah it could be possible but you don't have first round picks so overall it's interesting exercise to go through but overall still pretty unlikely but yeah Lakers fans can dream I guess I'm not one of the delusional ones, but I would like, I like to see, to see if it could work, but I don't expect it to work like some of those crazy fans, but yes, thanks for watching people, like, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what y'all think, have a great rest of your day, bye, go Lakers.